Hey guys, last time I did the top 10 NES title theme songs, and I got a lot of positive feedback on that one. People like that a lot, so I figured why not do the next logical step and do the top 10 Super Nintendo title theme songs. And again, same as last time, uh, this is one of those where you can't press the button to get to the song you like. If you have to do that, it doesn't count as part of this list. Also, I only took into account games that were released in America because I'm extremely familiar with that library. And lastly, they can't be like from a movie or from a TV theme because those are already out there. These are all original compositions for these games. So with that in mind, let's get started. Alright, so starting off with number 10, we got Street Fighter 2. This game, I remember when it came out, was almost as much money as the system itself. It was like $75 new. But the game was incredible and the soundtrack was amazing for a fighting game that was unheard of back then. Number 9 on the list is going to be Earthbound. A lot of these Super Nintendo games in the title screens have multiple songs, and this one is no exception, and they're all amazing. Speaking of games with titles with multiple songs, Final Fantasy 3 is about seven and a half minutes long. I played the whole thing through just to see. And each song is unique and incredible as well. Number 7 on the list is Super Metroid, and coincidentally, every single game that I put on this list happened to be an amazing game. Just like the original Metroid on the NES, the theme song for Super Metroid makes you feel like you're truly alone somewhere in space. Number 6 on the list is Chrono Trigger. This game is well known for being one of the best role playing experiences ever made. On top of an already robust and complex storyline experience, Chrono Trigger really shines with the music. Number 5, we have A Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. One of my favorite opening scenes to a game ever is these triangles spinning with the music in the background. Number 4 on the list is a game I'm going to guess many of you have never even heard of before, but it's Lagoon. And this game came as one of the original role-playing games on the Super Nintendo, and it plays a lot like The Legend of Zelda, but it's lesser known, and the soundtrack throughout the entire game is incredible. Strongly recommend playing this if you haven't already. And from lesser known to probably the most well-known game on the Super Nintendo, I give you Super Mario World. Number two on the list, Donkey Kong Country. This game, when it came out, the graphics completely blew me away, but they didn't stop there. They made one of the most incredible soundtracks on the Super Nintendo as well. To be completely honest, making a top 10 list was really challenging for these Super Nintendo titles because there are so many games with such great openings. Here are some titles that just missed the cut.
And number one on the list is going to be my favorite game of all time, The Secret of Mana. This opening, I used to actually just play it and listen to it over and over again because it was just so good. So that's my list for the top 10 SNES title theme songs without pressing a button. This was way harder to do than it was for the NES games because I feel like developers started putting a lot more effort into the title screens when the Super Nintendo rolled around. Probably because they had more technological advances and were able to put more into the game. But for whatever reason, a lot of good games that didn't even make this list have awesome songs because they just did that with a lot more games here. A couple quick things I want to talk about on some of the games I mentioned here. Uh, for The Lost Vikings, uh, this one's still got the Blockbuster Video sticker on it. This one's going to be really rare eventually, so if you're looking into collecting games and are starting with the Super Nintendo library, strongly suggest picking this one up. It used to be like 5 bucks, now it's like 25 bucks. It's gonna go a lot higher than that. And the sequel to it, Lost Vikings 2, is even more rare, so that's another one you want to look into to actually pick it up. One of the biggest surprises I had was Lagoon. This is on eBay for like 10 or 15 bucks right now. This is one of the biggest hidden gems in the Super Nintendo library. It's an awesome role-playing game that's similar to the Legend of Zelda style. It's a little rough around the edges, but it's got an amazing soundtrack and it's a lot of fun to play. So pick this one up before it goes too expensive. I'm probably going to do an episode on hidden gems, but while I'm on the topic, King Arthur's World, an awesome, awesome game for the Super Nintendo. If you've never played it, check that one out. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today, so I hope you enjoyed the top 10 Super Nintendo title theme songs that I put together here, and if you have any that I didn't put on the list, let me know in the comments section. And as always, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one.